There are two objectives when you go out and street preach. One is to bring the sinner to repentance, and two is to bring this backslider home. When you get about four minutes into this video and you watch a street preach, you'll hear a conversation of a man who went to the First Baptist of Atlanta who are out in these streets trying to teach a doctrine of demons to your wives, your sons, and your daughters. It's worth a listen. Jesus came to save sinners. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Foul, foul mouth, wicked foul mouth. You need the mouth washed out with soap and water. Your mouth your is foul. Your mother obviously your mouth your is foul. Your mother didn't raise you right. She you. raised you to be a devil. Yeah, she that. raised you to be a little rebel for the devil. You, you are in an advanced stage of demonic being. Advanced stage. Yep, good luck with that. God's going to give you the finger on Judgment Day, Papa. When he points his finger and says, depart from me, you devil, worker of iniquity. Go in there and drink your beer, you beer drinking devil. I guess that's why he ate with the sinners in the tax collector. Oh, that's what they, they that's what the Pharisees them. accused him of. Sure enough, Mr. Pharisee. Like yep, Pharisee. They, they accused him of eating with sin, with sinners. Guess what? Right. Read that right there, Bubba, Bubba. Jesus said, go and sin no more. He didn't eat with them, those continued in sin. In the fact, if you read the New Testament, it says, Shall we continue in sin that grace oh, okay. might abound? You God forbid. Like God forbid. Oh, you little devil. Can you answer me one theological question? Oh, are you a theologian? Actually, I am. Oh, good. What school did you go to? My rabbi, is a, his name is Yeshua. Oh, yeah? That's the school, That's school you went school to? All right. Well, I went to Moody Bible Institute. Okay, so what is All right. the law of our current covenant? What is the law? To love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, you just and strength. The law of Moses. Jesus said. They asked Jesus him the same question, Mr. Commandment. Pharisee. Mr. Pharisee. Me, you can read God's word for yourself. Oh, you're, you're passing out tracks now. That's right. Because I'm a disciple of Christ. Oh, a disciple of Christ. Love one another as I've loved you, not the law of Moses. To love one you another as I've loved you. Loved you. You, by preaching the law of Moses, you think you're a Jew. You're actually complain, proclaiming yourself to be a Jew. You're a liberal. The law that the Gentiles have ever love had has the saved law anybody. When did the you love of God never saved the anybody. The love of God never saved anybody. He didn't? Nope. The love of God never saved anybody. I don't get that at all. Right, because you're not saved by the love of God. You're saved by faith. Faith alone. You know, I go to First Baptist Church of Atlanta. I go to Andy Stanley's church. I go to the That explains everything. But that explains you everything. You don't yep. represent Christ, you represent the devil. Your father is Go on! Go on, get your own street corner, Mr. Liberal Andy Stanley. The word of God is able to save your soul from a devil down when there's weeping and wailing. Jesus said, forget about the law of Moses, I'm giving you a new commitment, to love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, than someone who lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. It says that all the of the law Theophilus, stands Theophilus on comes those, those laws a friend that of God, God gave us. Jesus said, love God by loving one another. He changed the game. For the new covenant is the law of Christ. The old covenant is the law of Moses, what they're talking about. There's much good in the law. And for the Jews, it was their tutor that led them to Christ. But we're not Jews. We're the Goyim. We in Acts 15, where they say just write to them about sexual immorality and abstain from uh, blood and whatever. That's the only thing they do, because the law belongs to Israel. 
Only Israel agreed to remind it. So what so law is it that we're not supposed to What law are we not supposed to keep? Why is he yelling This is the law we're No, I'm, I'm asking a direct question. What law are we not supposed to keep? What, I we're mean, not supposed uh, to look like the law of, of Moses, the, of like the Ten the Commandments. Did. Say of the Ten Commandments, what of those laws are we not supposed to keep? That's like saying we're still supposed to observe Confederate law here in Georgia because, because that used to be our law. When so, we never so you believe that the Georgia, Ten Commandments have been done away with as well? They've been replaced with a superior law. You don't understand. You didn't take the Ten Commandments away. It's just that was the law then, and this is the law now. We're not supposed to follow British law anymore because we're Americans. It's the same difference. Christ gave us a new law which says to love one another as I've loved you. If you're stealing from someone, you can't be loving them. You don't need that. If you're committing adultery on your spouse, you're not loving your wife. So you don't need that one either. If you're not loving your parents and doing nice things and doing things to honor them, well, you're not loving them. It's the same difference. The one rule covers everything. You don't need the list of rules because honor your mother and father doesn't do anything for your aunts and uncles. It's it. It's not so, comprehensive. So enough. you just Love don't like another, you just don't like the all. list. Jesus took the list away because they were using but it against people. Jesus they were put the list rules. in our heart so that we might live the same way that he desires right. us to live. Right, he just wants us to love one another, and that was his command. But that's Christ. If, if, if we don't follow, if we follow Christ, we live by his commands. Okay, if so... If we follow Moses, we live by the Ten Commandments. Well, it's I mean, simple. so do you just want to tear the Old Testament out? It doesn't it need to be torn out. They're all great examples of not loving one another. Everything well, that you can read in, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, God, and the Word was God. Same so was yes, in the beginning. So that, that he, he is, Jesus world, is the Word. So if we throw away everything well, that's in the Old them, Testament. You're not throwing it away. No one said throw it away. It's just not Oh, our just law. don't live by it. The Bible is written for us, but to certain people. The Torah was written to Israel. Not to Gentiles. The t New Testament is a narrative of Yeshua, who in Matthew 121 came to deliver his people, Israel, from their sins. They agreed in a to a bilateral agreement with the ruler of this world, who was the angel in a flame of fire that came to Moses, who denied his father. Yeshua said, I have a father who is greater than me. But the angel that came to Moses didn't say that. He just said, I'm God. Well, that's because the rule of this world wants to be like the most high. So he would never acknowledge his father. But he gave him a law where disrespect is punishable by death, like a dictator. So anyway, that's another story altogether. The bottom line is, when Yeshua died on the cross, he fulfilled the law of Moses, the prophets. He came according to the scripture. His name is Yudhe which means I will be. It's better translated if you check check the there's some lots of really great Hebrew words there. And even the letters themselves means Yes. The letters Yud Hey Bab Hey means you hold the hand, you hold the nail. And I, it more correctly translates as I will be because when he gave it to Moses, they had entered the agreement with him. So he's saying I will be your God. But the letters mean you hold the hand, you hold the nail. So the one who dies on the cross is going to be the God. So what do you say? So what do you say to the sinner that is living in those sins that they can remain in their sins, or do you well, that's say the that? The problem is, is the, law of Christ, the law of Moses is what defines sin. If you're living in Christ, you're not sinning. But how do they know if they're? I mean, sinners because don't understand who are the word. doing unloving things to one another are the ones that know that they're wrong. But the world that believes that they're way to live the world that believes that they're moral though they don't know that they need a savior they think that they're good within themselves no as john writes and this is the four heaven verse that's how i remember first john four seven anyone who loves is one who is born of god and knows god in that one verse the apostle john Condensed, took all of the content.
context of Israel's law and all of the context of everything, you just boil it down to its conceptual meaning. God is love. Anyone who is loving is of God. John says it. I believe it. You don't have to worry about you've got my religion or your religion or whatever. Yeshua is our God. It's not a religion. It's a way of life. It's, it's a relationship with Jesus Christ. That, that love for one another. And anyone who does this, as he tells us in the scripture, anyone who images me and my love are my disciples. Even if they've never heard my name. If you see them displaying my love for one another since I made them and I designed them to be that way. Oh, so and now I'm you're God, saying that somebody that they are doesn't already believe that following Jesus me, is the way, the truth, and life and that no one comes to the Father right. through him if and they just love, love that's right. then they're okay and they've accepted. That's what it is. It, oh, so that means hear, everybody can go to heaven. Everybody. So everybody everyone can go to heaven. Everyone who is born of love is, knows God according to John. Oh. First John it 4. says that we must be born again. That all we old things pass away and all things become new. To see the kingdom of heaven. Read the complete Jewish Bible translation. I, John I have that, that translation. Yes. You have to be born again from above. Oh, so... It's to be born from above is to see the kingdom of heaven. In order to be regenerated... So ultimately you're saying that I don't have to believe to be born that above. Jesus is the only way. It's a name. No. Love is the way. Oh, Jesus so love, love. Oh, well. He said love, love one another. So loving they one don't, another they is don't know Christ. love if they don't know Jesus. The world can portray love, but if it's not so, if it's not the love that comes through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit living in us, that's we're, right. And that's what John says. But anyone who loves the guy across the but the guy across the street could come, come, um, say that he because loves his love. neighbor. <laughs> Jesus but he doesn't name know is anything love. about Jesus. Yeshua is love. God is love. Yeah, but the world so anyone thinks who that is they love, love each other. Is born of God, according to First John four seven. So you can argue argue with First John, but I guess I should stop here because I go to First Baptist and they all tie it there. I don't get that. No. Gonna preach the good news. Tip my hat and sit. Down.